Hey, it's James from Fitting Electrical, and on today's video, we're fitting the Fast Amps A7 charger to 7.4 kilowatt, nice and fast. Let's get into this. that's getting renovated at the moment. So what they want is a nice affordable, affordable charger, which we can uh, fit on the wall. And they want some uh, which uh, not got loads of fancy gizmos and tech in it. They just want to be able to plug it in nice and easy, nice affordable. So we've got this Fast Amps A7 charger. I'm gonna be installing that today then. Right then, so let's see what's in the box then. So this has just been sent out. It's free next day delivery, which is cool. So I was in, in a bit of a rush. So then this is what you get in the box then. So you've got the charger itself. So it's a fast amp, 7.4 kilowatt. So let's have a look then. So we've got a little, little quick guide. That's what we want. So nice and quick. That's what we've got then. So I think these are the DeWalt fixings, which is cool. So we'll use them to fix it. And then what else do we get then? There we go, so we've got a little, it looks like a SN and a password, so that'll be for the app. They said that you don't need to use the app, you can just literally wire it up, power it up, and then test it and plug and play, essentially. But if you do want to use the app, you can use the app. And then this is the charger itself then. So let's get this out of the box then. So I know you've just seen it, but this is the unboxing video then. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll get that open in a bit. I think it comes with a security screw. So a security screw out, which we'll need to open the actual charger itself. So I'm gonna bang that in my drill, and then let's get him in. Hello, kitty. Yeah, uh -huh, let's have a look inside then. So this is the mains on the left then. Looks like you've got your vehicle, because this is a tethered one. So you actually get your tethered lead in there then. So that's gonna go where it says vehicle. And then you've got your mains in here. And then it's, that's it really, nice and simple. And apparently you've got these little dip switches then so you can set the actual charge rate for the amps. And then if you do want dynamic power sharing, you can link this up with other chargers. If you get a few of these, you'll make sure it, make sure it doesn't blow the main fuse with all of them plugged in. So that's what that's for. And then same again for that one. And then you've got your three terminals for your solar, your dynamic load, and then one will be for your CT. So let's see what else comes in the box then. So let's pop that down there. So in here then looks like we've got a mounting bracket then. So we'll just uh, unravel this this little bad boy. <clears throat> so you've got two parts to this. So look at that. Fast amps. So that's gonna go on the wall above, and then that will go below. And then you just wrap your cable around like that. So that's your that's your mounting, that's your holder for the actual cable then. And then what have we got here? I can get in. And you got your CT clamp then. So that's just going to measure the, the house's load, make sure you don't pull too much. So there we go, that's your CT, so we'll get that installed later. Right then, what we're going to do is get this mounted then. So we're going to mount this outside where the customer wants it. And we've got a little mounting template which we're going to use, so let's pop outside. Right then, what we're going to do then is measure from inside to make sure we've popped through at the right place. So then, the customer wants the charger. Uh, roundabout in this area, she said. So they've done it as close to, close to here as possible. Um, and then what they, can, what they can do is just park on this drive and charge it up like that. So let's get this sorted then. We'll bob that back down there. We'll do a bit of measuring, make sure it lands in the right place inside. The, uh, it's got the security fixings in, so they're all loose then. So the great thing about this is you can put, push down on these clamps and it'll pop it out and it'll allow you to uh, fully take off the lid like that. So you can detach that, fit that. See, so I've got this flapping about and then you just push down on that and the, these side clips will clip it back in. Got loads of cable entries including this back one which is the handy one so you won't see any cables with this installation apart from the actual car charger lead so if we bob this on here like something like that then uh, we should be able to do a hole through the back and then get the cable glided into the back of that and then you're not going to see any of that then are you so all you'll see is the charger itself a mountain bracket and it all coiled up so i could put the mountain bracket here and it'll do that kind of thing and coil up, so it should look nice, neat and sweet. Right, what we're going to do then is use the marking template then to mark out fixing holes. So we've got a straight edge here, so we want to mark up 
So the bottom of the bottom of the actual template, I've just punctured through where the fixing hole is going to be in the back of the fitting. And what I'm going to do is just line it up then with where we want to drill through. You can use a pencil. Oh, I've got a little little marksman, little little square. Makes a nice little green dot on the wall where you can see it. So there you go. So you've got your four little green dots and there's a little pencil mark, and then that's your fixing hole there then. Right, so what we're going to do is send this drill bit through first. So a little pilot through. So we've marked out 400. So that's that mark here. And what we're going to do is send him through at a slight up angle. So what I'll do is step it up then. Then we'll step it up again. So this is to get the big EV cable through. Right, I'm just going to use a bit of EV Ultra cable then, it's a Doncaster cable special, so I'll unravel a bit off, Woohoo! Not, left, not, a le not a lot left on that drum, getting tangled up on me, right then, so in this cable then, it's come, come a bit closer, so we've got a 6mm 3 core, so that should be able to take the uh, 7.4 kilowatt load, and then we've got a little data cable there, which we can extend the CTs, so it's a built in one cable, it looks nice and neat on the inside. Right, send him through then. So that's that cable running then, so that's the length. So what we're gonna do is just chop it down a little bit. So good thing about this cable is it's like a high tough cable, so it's got the impact rating, but you don't have to mess about with the uh, the SWA. If I had some fat cutters and these cable snips, <laughs> it'd cut a lot easier. There we go. Right then, so what we're gonna do then, so we're just gonna get these drilled out, get the fixings that come in with it, and then we'll get it fixed to the wall. Right then, just gonna drill a little entry hole in the back so you don't see any cables. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna get them stripped now then, so let's just go around like that. Come around to the other side. Oh, nice retracting of it then. Pop him. I'm just going to slice down here like this. There we go. Let's just unwrap the uh, unwrap the banana. I'll do. Same again. Then we'll push the excess through and then wire up into the mains in on the left. Now we're going to just push the excess back then. I've been coming through a little bit. Then what we'll do is get that gunged off, off, off later then. So just get a bit of silicon around that and that'll seal it up nicely. We're going to get these into the terminals. So it's got a wide area where we can get all these in. So we're just going to make sure these terminals are open. So let's just uh, get these all nicely open. So we've got some oversized terminals here. So, so you, you, you're not going to struggle getting those cables in there. So let's just get this tightened up. So that's one in. So like we said before then, so it's got these dip switches here, which uh, make it really easy. Well, it's on the actual cover, but uh, it makes it really easy uh, to install it. So you can pick, you can select your settings essentially without having to download the app. But what we'll do today is download the app and show you how it all works as well. On the inside then, so all you need to do is use a 40 amp, as you know by the regs, it's a double pole RCBO or RCD you need to use. Uh, so long as that's on the inside, you can you power it with a B32 or B40 max, and that's all you need to do is to power, it, power this up. So get that sorted on the distribution side, make sure there's obviously earthy gas, earthy water, and then just wire it up there, extend your CTs, and then that's this job done. So nice and quick, nice and affordable, and the customer's dead happy. So what I'll do is get the tether in next then. So this is the tether cable. So that's gonna sit in the bottom there. So we'll get that glanded in with those. There's loads of cable entries in this, like we said. So we can pick either position. We'll probably go for the center and then that can just sit there then. So we'll get the bracket lined up with it, nice in line. And then that'll just wrap around there once we're finished.
about the torque settings then, so it's not 0.5 Newton meter for the torque settings for those smaller terminals there. Right, I'm just going to use this uh, fast amps little uh, cable holder then. So I think if we go something like that, it's going to look really neat and sweet. So let's get that mounted. Then we'll get it marked out and mount. We'll get it marked out and mount. We'll get it marked out, drilled. Ah! <laughs> and we'll get it marked to fix the wall. So we're just checking the wine of the CTs then. Uh, so we've got the quick start, but this is the installation user manual. So all this is all online. So there's like a QR code you can scan on the booklet. And if you're on the website, you can get this as well. So this just gives you a bit more in depth of how to install the charger and all the different light indications. So we have got the option of the twin load sharing. So you can have another charger and this basically balances, balances the load, can't speak, <laughs> and uh, make sure that you don't pull over the, the maximum ampage you set it to. So that's what that is. And then also you can do the solar charging, so you can charge it for free and you just follow through them steps um, of how to do that off these instructions. So these are the specs for the charger then. So if you want to pause the video, you can look at that. It's got pen fault detection built in, so you don't need like a garrow board or like a Mati device, which is, could be another few hundred quid. Uh, it's all built in, so you don't need to do that. And you don't need to put a, an earth rod into the ground because of the pen fault detection. Right, so we've got that wired up now. So we've got live, neutral and earth. And then what we've got is white cable. That goes into, you see that's a CP for J4 and PP, so it goes into CP, and what it actually measures um, the resistance of the cable in, and it tells the charger whether if it's a 32 amp rated cable or a 16 amp rated cable. So that's what that little white lead does inside these chargers. So what we're gonna do is extend this using two of the cores then, so we'll use brown, so we'll just untwist this then. We're gonna bang that into dynamic load. So let's just make a note of that. Polarity doesn't matter, so it can go in either way around, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that, and then on the other end, uh, we'll extend the CT, so we'll show you what that looks like when we clamp it on the main cable. So then, uh, as far as this dynamic load, like I said, polarity doesn't matter, and you don't need to install it. So long as you've done your diversity calculations, this uh, manufacturer says you can just basically just install it and you don't need to mess about the CT, so CTs are optional. All right then, so come in, come in, come in. So you've got like, like a little ribbon then, so you see them little claws are open. We're just gonna push that into there. I don't know if I'm going to be with the weight of the camera, but let's get that back in. I'm trying not to headbutt the cameraman on this. So that should just clip in, and you see it's just nipped it in, top and bottom, and that's it. So that's the lid coming off to make it nice and easy to work with. Right, it's going to use the security screw then to get him back in. Just nip him up tight, and then what we'll have to do is get that little torque screwdriver out and get it to that two newton meter, which is what it's asking. Right then, so what we're going to do is just put the CT clamp on, so we've extended it. Uh, all we've done is just, uh, so this is just two pairs, so we've just gone uh, the two cores to the two cores coming from the brown. We used brown on white, didn't we? And plaque doesn't matter, so you can just clip it on like that, and that's it. So that's the line cable of the installation, the whole installation. Right then, that's the Fast Amps A7 car charger all installed. So if you did not want to use the app, all you do is just unplug it, plug it into your car, and then just click now, and it'll charge straight away. But what we're going to do is use the app, so we'll show you how to do that now. What we're going to do is scan this QR code, so get my phone out, click over that, and then download this app. Right then, so it takes you to this page, and then what we're going to do is go down to download in the App Store, or if you're Android, you click on the Play Store. There we go, open it up. There we go, so we're into the Fast Amps app. Search it for chargers. So I click plus, and that should be adding it now. So really simple, really quick, and then we're just going to type in this password. So 218730, 218730, fair. There we go, and we're on then. So it's easy as that, really quick and simple. So we'll just power that up then, and the setup's that easy. So we could have just plugged and play and just went from there, but as far as the app, that took less than a minute just to set that up. So let's look into the app then. So we've got standby. That's what status it's on now. So if we just plug in this car, we'll want to see the status. We've got the charging history. 
Uh, what else we got? Let's have a look in the settings then. So we've got the solar button enabled, so when there's solar generation we can click the solar button and it'll just take from any export from the solar. And then we've got the charge now button, so you can disable that if you don't want people coming up and just plugging in and playing. But for us, we're not bothered, so we'll just keep that button enabled, and then when we, when we charge this electric car, we can just press the now button and it'll charge straight away. There's also the option for solar tracking then, so if we turn that on, it'll track the solar. We haven't got that set up, so we won't use that option. And as far as charge now, we can click charge now and it will request a charge. Obviously there's an error because there's no car plugged in. <laughs> but yeah, it will work if you plug a car into it. So on this you can also go on here and set the charge times. So sometimes you can get cheaper nighter rates. So instead of paying 30, 40p during the day, you can get on a cheaper rate, a nighttime tariff, and pay like 15p and then set your car to charge between those cheaper rates and cheap during those cheaper times. So if you look here, we can you see it says charger enabled, we can click that and then people can't be coming in and charging the car. That's the app in the nutshell then. So tell me what you think below of the Fast Amps A7 car charger. So I think it's really, it's a affordable piece of kit. It's really quick to install. So it could take a couple of hours to install. There's no plug and play and wait for uh, all the firmware to download. So some products you have to wait hours to download the latest software. But with this, it's just plug and play. And then if the customer wants the option of an app, then they've got that app there, which is really simple and really easy to use. So that's all we've got time for today then. So if you like this fast amps charger, let me know in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me, and I'll see you in the next one.